West Side Story was a kind of uh, character in itself, the way it defined a certain streetwise sense of New York at that moment in really an iconic way. Maybe, yes, it will. Maybe just by holding still, it'll be there. Come on, something, come on in. Don't be shy, meet a guy, pull up a chair. I think this is the best musical of all time, period. And I'm a Broadway baby. I've done many, many Broadway shows, and I love, you know, there are, there are a couple that come close, but when it comes to book, music, lyrics, uh, it's timeless. And, the, and, and uh, these melodies, it, it, everybody knows every word. This isn't something that people are like, oh yeah, I kind of like that show. They love it. West Side Story is timeless because it speaks to this yearning of um, unrequited love stories everywhere. There's something about uh, the innocence and the sweetness of the love story married with the heat uh, of the cultural circumstances that just makes it a joy, uh, touching, fun. West Side Story cannot succeed unless you believe that Tony and Maria love each other. I think people will enjoy this recording because it follows the plan of Bernstein's own complete recording, but it does so with a really knock-your-socks-off orchestra that's used to playing with one another, and a cast which really comes much more from the world of Broadway. We're not trying to imitate the way it was sung on the original cast recording. We're trying to say, here is the Broadway roots of the piece, and here's a little bit how its universal qualities translate into the way we think about such things now. Playing Anita, I've really fallen in love with her and, and her sassiness, and I didn't want to make it anybody else's version of Anita. I really wanted to try and make it my own. I like the island, Manhattan. And it's so fun, that song. Um, and by the end of it, you just, I feel like I've gone like on a roller coaster ride. And I just don't want to get off stage. That sounds crazy. But I don't. I love it so much. That song is so great. The melodies are so memorable, but the music is so complex. That's very, very difficult. It doesn't go where you think it's going to go. And even after knowing the score all these years, I'm still uncovering things about the score that I never heard before. And that's amazing. I just kissed a girl named Maria And suddenly I found How wonderful a sound can be Maria Michael really understood my father's music and how to conduct it and how to bring it to life. It was such a treat to hear the entire score of West Side Story being performed by the entire San Francisco Symphony on a stage. It's like the greatest way to hear this music. It's fun to discover after all these years. We're so familiar with so much of it. But to play the entire score with Michael Tilson Thomas and this group of musicians and these wonderful singers is a treat beyond words. 
It couldn't be more exciting to be sitting in the middle of that, to be a part of that. To hear the arc of the clarinets, to hear the rumble of the lower brass communicate as much in terms of storytelling gives you an appreciation for this that I don't think I, we ever would have had the opportunity to have. A boy who kills cannot love, a boy who kills has no heart, and he's the boy who gets you love and gets you It's just this visceral reaction without knowing any of her emotions or any of her feelings. And she's just coming at her from this perspective of how dare you. And of course the arc brings us to no, Anita, no. I, I have love just like you have love. And we, have, we find this common ground. It's unbelievably dramatic. Every song is a keeper, and it's, you know, Sondheim and Bernstein and, and everybody at the top of their game. I think this performance really does give you a sense of where Bernstein's musical mind and spirit was at the moment he wrote this piece. And I think Bernstein would be very happy with this project. <laughs> 